Outside of China, this is the cheapest seven seat electric vehicle that money can buy. A lot of people are saying it's still way too expensive and Inside EVs says it sucks. But you know what? I think it's actually pretty good. Most people don't need seven seats all the time. Just as an occasional feature, it makes an incredible amount of sense. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The new Tesla price has been revealed. It's only $1,000 less, but Tesla have, well, I think they're helping people out here. This is a really bizarre car, and it's it's not really part of Tesla's factory plans. You know, generally, when Tesla make a car, right, they'll make, say, three models of car. The long-range version, the performance version, and then the Spartan base range version. And there's very few options you can select. However, one of the very, very few options that you can select is to get seven seats. Now, the Tesla Model Y, in the past, you could pay an extra $4,000 US dollars. You could go from having five seats to seven seats. They put two small seats in the back. Of course, of course, they're for kids, right? And they're not meant for adults. All these clowns saying, oh, they suck because they're only the size for kids. Of course, they're only for kids. Who's going to carry two adults in the very back of the car? It doesn't make sense. Anyhow, the point is here. You don't have to get this option, but I think it's pretty cool that they have this option now. They've reduced the price from $4,000 US dollars to $3,000 US dollars. Unfortunately, there is a caveat here. You can only get the seven seat option on the Model Y long range version, not the base model version that's built in the Texas factory. Here's what Tesla says about the seven seat option. Model Y provides maximum versatility. It's able to carry seven passengers and their cargo. Each rear seat folds flat independently, creating flexible storage for skis, furniture, luggage, and more. The lift gate opens to a low trunk floor that makes loading and unloading easy and quick. So if you do get this option, you still can fold these seats flat into the floor. Why is that? Because Tesla's boot floor does actually have a space underneath it. So these will fold into that space, essentially. Tesla has tested a variety of price points for the seven seat options. In general, it's been around $4,000 more to get the seven seat option. Now Tesla has reduced it to $3,000 more. What does that mean? Well, the price of a seven seat Tesla Model Y long range is $54,630 US dollars. It does qualify for the $7,500 US dollar incentive. That means you're gonna get one of these for $47,000, almost exactly. $47,000 for a seven seat car. Yes, sure, you're not gonna use those rear seats very often, but when you need it, for example, when you're taking some extra kids somewhere, you know, doing something like that it makes a lot of sense. I think it does anyhow. And one of the things people say is, how on earth did they fit two seats in the back of a Tesla Model Y? Well, I was thinking the exact same thing. However, the Tesla Model Y's boot space is so much bigger than what you would think it is. You look at the car, you see a Tesla Model Y, and you think, yeah, it's decent size, but it's not massive. And then you look at the interior and you think, how on earth did they get so much space in the interior? A lot of people who have been critical of Tesla, journalists, etc., have admitted begrudgingly, some of them begrudgingly, some of them, others not so much, that Model Y's packaging is incredible. That Tesla can get so much space on the inside of the car. One of the biggest ways that customers realize the space of a Tesla Model Y in comparison to similarly sized cars from other brands is when Carwell did a comparison. They, com they compared... I think it was three or four different electric cars, and they compared the boot space. The Audi e-tron's boot space was approximately half the size of the Model Y. And that's how Tesla's able to fit in these extra two seats. There's one other thing to consider. The only thing is, if you want a different color, you've got to pay for it. This price is for the white version with a black interior. If you want to get a white interior, which I don't think is a great idea with kids, or if you want to get a different paint color on the outside, you do have to pay a little bit extra. Not the end of the world, but it's worth mentioning. Now, let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.